Hey, what's going on, church family? It's uh, Pastor Hassan, and it's Wednesday morning, and as promised, I uh, want to bring you a quick update on our reopening that's scheduled for July 5th at uh, 1045 a.m. And so just to give you an idea of what you can expect on that day, uh, we will plan, as I said, to meet Sunday, July 5th at um, 1045 a.m. for a shorter version of our normal service. So we're looking at an hour long service, which will mean that certain aspects of the service that we normally, um, that, that would normally be present will either not be present or they will be uh, shorter. So for example, um, singing, I, I love singing with, with, with you as my church family at Thistletown Baptist Church. And uh, we tend to sing quite a bit uh, but given some of the restrictions that have been placed on on us regarding um, the whole just adjusting to this COVID-19 situation, we, we won't sing as much. And so we'll sing uh, at least two, possibly three songs and um, other elements such as scripture reading will obviously be present. Like that's a huge part of what we do, gathering to hear the word, um, but we won't have as, as many scripture readings and, and perhaps some shorter ones. Um, and as we talked about a number, like maybe a month or so ago, uh, we will plan to celebrate uh, the Lord's table together. And I'm, I'm admittedly torn about, about that uh, simply because I know I uh, haven't talked to a number of people. There are some, there are people who are planning, um, even as we're reopening, um, they're planning not to attend. And, and, and I feel that like I would, I would love if there were no restrictions, everything was back um, to like, pretty, pretty well normal. And, um, as many people as are able would be, um, be present. But so I realized that there are going to be some people who, who miss out on Sunday and trust me, that's, that's not lost on me. Um, but we're, we're going to go ahead and, and move forward with, with having communion on, on that, on that Sunday. And it's going to look a bit different than what we normally do again, because of, some of the restrictions and things that we we um, have in place. And so I'll, I'll maybe in a later video post something regarding how we're planning to to handle communion. But just for now, know that that's going to happen. Uh, and in terms of other shorter elements of the service, um, instead of preaching a, a normal, whatever, 40, 45 minute sermon like I would, I'm going to cut that in half. So we're looking at a sermon that, that will run about 20 to 25 minutes just for the sake of keep trying to keep things within the hour. Um, and so in terms of other, other restrictions that I'll, I'll, I'll deal with in this video, there's the whole issue of seating capacity. And so we're being restricted to 30% of our, our seating capacity, which is a, about 85, 84 people. And so I'm going to find out the exact number on that, but that's the number that we're, we've been working with. And so, we, we can only have 85, 84 people in, in the building um, at, at a time. And so the way that we're going to do this, I've seen some churches that have registration processes and that kind of thing, but we're not going to do that. We're going to have um, just do it on a first come, first serve basis. And to be quite honest, I'm, not to be pessimistic, but I'm not anticipating that we'll be um, having more than that uh, show up on Sunday. Um, that would be great, but I'm, I'm just thinking uh, realistically at the moment, I'm, I'm not so sure that that'll happen. But anyway, how we're going to work work that, what we would ask for you to do um, is if you could phone in to the church office and, and let us know if you're planning to attend by uh, next week, uh, Thursday, um, I believe that's July 2nd. Um, if you can let us know if you're planning to attend by then, just so we have an idea of roughly how many people to expect. And, um, but other than that, uh, we're going to work on a first come first serve basis for, for the service. I think that's it in the way of things that I wanted to make you aware of at, at the moment. And, uh, tomorrow, as I said, I'm going to post another video where I'll actually give you a bit of a walkthrough. Okay. So here's what you can expect from the time you arrive in the parking lot. Um, getting through the doors, getting seated, and, and some other uh, things that you'll need to know in preparation for Sunday, July 5th. 
So brothers and sisters, I, I just want to again encourage you to continue to pray for one another, continue to pray for us as a church family together as we get ready to reopen. And I just want to remind you, I'm pretty sure I've uh, made mention of these verses a number of times with Paul and his opening to the letter of uh, Romans, as he's writing to the Romans, he speaks of how he, he lets them know. He says, brothers, I, I long to see you um, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. That is that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. So Paul communicates this longing to see the Christians in Rome um, so that they could be mutually encouraging to one another. And no doubt like you can do that. Paul was encouraging uh, the believers at Rome through a letter, he was receiving encouraging reports from um, other people regarding the Christians in Rome, but nothing, nothing replaces face-to-face uh, -face, um, fellowship and encouragement. And so we long for that as a church family as well. And so stay tuned. I'll come with some more information on, on tomorrow. And uh, yeah, love y'all and we'll talk later. Okay, God bless. Join us at two o'clock if you can for a prayer meeting. Have a good one.